Hello, 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 and welcome my Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this full moon to new moon next May 2020. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons Mal, for short, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch, professional intuitive, and brother of a Scorpio. Yep, my older brother Matt is a Scorpio, so grew up with one, so I'm pretty familiar <laughs> with the Scorpionic vibe, though I only have a... What, Neptune in in uh, in Scorpio, which showed us all most of Generation X. So uh, so let's have at it, shall we? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, please do um, like this video if you like it. Right, subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out content every day, and hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm putting out stuff. I've been putting out, um, found some of my footage from old meditation videos I did a couple of years back, editing those for YouTube, doing live streams, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night, just to help the community kind of get through this with some prayer, some meditation, and sometimes we just get together and laugh, and uh, anything we can do to get through this, right? Cool, cool. <laughs> so, by all means, feel free to comment in the comment section below if any of this resonates for you now or later, because I do like the feedback. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, let's get down to business. This is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, because we're only doing a card draw. It's uh, six different decks, one card each, six cards, just clues, tips, and hints about what you need uh, for this full moon in Scorpio, which is your full moon for the year, uh, to the new moon in Gemini. The full moon is on the 7th, the new moon is on the 22nd, all in the merry old month of May. So, uh, yeah, I, may it serve, right? Uh, can be helpful there. And I'm trying to keep these short because upload times are still ridiculously long, uh, unless I do it overnight, which usually I'm asleep <laughs> and too tired to, to do that kind of work at that point in the day, because uh, I'm also taking clients if you'd like a reading. My contact info is in the description box below, <laughs> along with uh, all of the decks that I uh, use. They're all in there as well at the bottom. Go have a look see duxy There's some cool stuff in my description box. Other than that, if you focus on your breath as we go and I focus on my breath as I go, we will all get the benefit of the present moment, the guidance, the grace, the clarity that we all need for this full moon to new moon next. Ready? Take a nice deep breath. Let's do this. Uh, my collective pantheons of angels, goddesses, gods, masters, and the higher selves of all involved. Please, one Caroline Mace archetype. What is the dominant soul pattern that the Scorpios will be alchemizing from shadow to light, lead to gold? For this full moon in Scorpio, their full moon to new moon next in Gemini for May 2020. Please, the dominant archetype for this waning moon is, ooh, the god archetype. Now, definitely uh, the masculine family, obviously, but also could could say uh, the divine family as well. Some archetypes do share uh, archetypal families. Uh, the shadow attribute, despotism and cruelty, using power to control people, which is different than just manipulating them, right? Like, manipulation's a bit more, I guess you would say Scorpio, in the sense it's a little bit more covert, a little bit more hidden. Um, but despotism and cruelty is n usually not very hidden. It's very yang. It's very external. Uh, so using power to control people, yeah, that, that can be a little bit more overt. Uh, the light a attribute, which is what you're shooting for and is a wonderful thing, benevolence and compassion, recognize the, pardon me, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others, the God archetype. I don't know if you can see that in there, right? So worth it, right? You know, for that benevolence and compassion in a time when the world needs it. So yeah, you may want to use your power to be a despot and cruel. And you know, that's in the collective as well. You know, water signs tend to be empathic. Might not all be yours, right? It might be what you're feeling uh, from the world in general, uh, wanting to control people. But if you can alchemize that benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others that, you know, we are, we are all in this play, we're all in this game together, but that we are not from this play. We are not from this game. We are from a, a higher vibrational place, right? 
all uh, ghosts in the machine, spirits in form, souls with egos, etc. So let's go to the next deck, the Healing with the Angels Oracle, to ask uh, the angels, obviously, uh, what, is, uh, what is the Healing Angel, right? Healing with the Angels Oracle to help you alchemize that shadow to light. Nice deep breath, please. My angels, please, one card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective. Sun, moon, rising sign for this uh, full moon in Scorpio, their full moon to new moon next in Gemini. What do they need, right? What is the healing angel that they can heal with the healing with the angels oracle? My angels, please, now that's two cards, just one. Just one card for the Scorpios, please. No, that is two. Wow, they keep doing that's how I know it's not the right card. Please. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective. Hey, sun, moon, rising. There we go. <laughs> Signs this new moon to full moon next May 2020. All right. Well, good, though. You've got support. The Angels of Support. Now, this is a rather classic card. You've seen this artwork before. It's the planet Earth being really supported by the angels, gods, the masters, the higher selves of all involved, whatever you want to call those higher powers. So, though that may manifest itself in terms of spiritual support, may also manifest itself in in terms of physical support, the people around you, you know, are those the people uh, that you're wanting to control in the shadow, uh, or are those uh, the benevolence and compassion, right? That and and recognizing that eternal force in yourself and others, this is that eternal force supporting. So turn to that. Oh, allow the support, uh, both in the physical and in the non-physical. But let's keep going so we can get a little bit more clarity particularly because I'm using this relatively new Oracle deck. I only got it a month or so ago. It's called uh, the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses Oracle. So even though we already pulled an angel card, let's see what this one has to say. It's a very direct Oracle card. Like it says right on it. It's a, it can be a bit of a splash of cold water, which I kind of like. Nice deep breath. <sighs> Considering I'm doing the Wim Hof method, yes, I like a nice cold splash of water. My collective pantheons of angels, uh, gods, and goddesses, then, please, one card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective. Sun, moon, rising signs, this full moon in Scorpio to new moon next in Gemini. Please, oh please, uh, what is the message? An angel, a god, or a goddess, please, for the Scorpio Collective. May, uh, full moon to new moon, May 2020. And you've got the angel of self-worth. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. Now, it doesn't say how to do that, but I do think with the god archetype, I mean, really, there's a goddess archetype in this deck, too. So this is the divine masculine side of it. That's why it's a masculine fem family and a divine family archetype. Divine, masculine, masculine, divine. That there's something really there about the benevolence and the compassion to yourself as well, right? Angel of self-worth, you are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. But remember, self-worth is like self-esteem, not just... Well, self-esteem really isn't a noun. It's a verb, right? Is self-worth something you have, or is it something that you do, like you evaluate, right? Self-esteem, self-evaluation. So uh, play with that as a noun and a verb, because if you're having the support from the divine, you got to get the divine sees you perfect exactly as you are. So your worth is beyond calculation by any human measurement, right? There are no measuring sticks for the divine in that way. We are all perfect in process, just like how a baby is perfect. Baby's not imperfect just because it doesn't stand advanced, understand advanced calculus. I'm going to be 52 years old. I don't understand even basic calculus. I thought it had to do with calculators. I was really bummed when I found out it didn't. Let's keep going. Uh, let's ask the Ascended Masters through the Love Pack by Chuck Spizzano. Really interesting deck here. I've had it for a very long time, since the 90s. Uh, the, the, yeah, the mid-90s. <clears throat> Uh, there is a suit of the problem, which is half of the deck, because it's good to know what the problems are, right? See them coming. Uh, the suit of luck, the suit of healing, and the suit of grace make up the other half. So let's see what you get from the point of view of what you need from the Ascended Masters. Nice deep breath. Let's do another. 
Hmm. My Ascended Masters, please. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective Sun Moon Rising sign for this uh, full moon Scorpio, their full moon to the new moon next in Gemini. What do they need? Because we've got the God archetype, which is very, I mean, powerful. All archetypes are powerful and about power. But this one feels like life-changey kind of powerful. And with that card of support, that they have absolutely the love, the guidance, the grace, the wisdom, the support of the invisible world. But there's something here about self-worth. Maybe they're not letting that in. They're not recognizing the eternal force within themselves, that they will survive all things. That eternal does not mean all of time. It means timeless, beyond time. So please, for this Scorpio, what do they need this full moon to new moon? Hey, what do they need this new moon to full moon? Next, you know what I did? I washed my hands. Because, you know, you got to keep washing your hands. Like, every time a new piece of mail comes out, I mean, I'm a Virgo. Not that I'm obsessive-compulsive, but, you know, I'm trying to... Guidelines, right? So, please, <laughs> my ascended masters, make this a little easier for the Scorpio Collective. Oh, there we go. What do they need this full moon to new moon next? Okay, using is a problem card, and I think that goes along really, really well uh, with that despotism, cruelty, and using power to control people. Using. So literally spelt the exact same way on two different cards. But now the question that pops into my energy field here is, are you the one doing the using or are you the one being used? Maybe it's a little bit of both. And uh, certainly that can uh, be coming from a wound of lack of self-worth, right? Because that is when we tend to use people, because we're not really looking at our own worth uh, to do for ourselves what we can do for ourselves, particularly in terms of self-love, you know? We're all looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Thank you, 1980s uh, country western music. Uh, but, you know, that love that we're looking for is the love that only we can give ourselves. And that's a process. That's not a once and done. That's like brushing your teeth. You just got to do that uh, pretty regularly to stay healthy. So if there is a using quality going on here in the shadow, remember that benevolence and compassion compassion that everybody is doing the best that they can, right? And that you've done nothing wrong, they've done nothing wrong, it's just part of the growth curve. Again, it's like, are you going to hold a baby culpable because it doesn't know how to drive, right? It's just, it's not there yet. That doesn't mean you can't have compassion for the baby. Poor non-driving baby. You're a virgin. I can't drive. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. <laughs> We just share Horowitz to you. Um, so since the Ascended Masters gave you a problem card, let's, well, I was going to give you one of these cards anyway. Uh, the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn, also from the Ascended Masters. One side of the card is the mantra itself, the other the name of the mantra, so I can look it up in the book. And it's not a lot of reading, it's just like a paragraph or two, but always worth it. Please breathe. My Ascended Masters, again, please, one card in clarity for this Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Sun, for this full moon in Scorpio to new moon next in Gemini, May 2020. What do they need? I mean, really, they've got the God archetype with support, a self-worth issue going on here with the angel of self-worth and using, and I've never known anybody who used somebody that did not have a self-worth issue. I mean, that's how we overcompensate for self-worth issues, is that we make ourselves better than, right? That's the aggressive ego. But maybe this person is being used, and hence that issue of self-worth. Either way, what is the perfect healing mantra for them this uh, full moon to new moon next May 2020? Let's see what they say. Ooh, activating the third eye. Activating the third eye. I am willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. I am willing to see beyond my ideas, beliefs, and conclusions. Beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. I inverted them there. So let me read you what this says. It's early on in the book easy to find. I love how that light, it's motion sensitive, like I don't have to do much. I think it pops on when it's supposed to pop on. It's being used by the divine. It's a synchronistic instrument of divine intervention. Activating the third eye. I am willing to see beyond my beliefs, 
ideas and conclusions. As your third eye opens, you are able to notice how each moment is a catalyst for your ever-expanding soul. Now, a catalyst, interesting he uses that word, a catalyst is something that speeds up or slows down a, a change or a reaction, right? So people think of a catalyst as something that speeds things up, but if you squirt lemon juice on an apple, it will keep it from turning brown for a while, not for forever, right? So speeds up or slows down, so it's about timing, right? So as your third eye opens, you are able to notice how each moment is a catalyst speeding up or slowing down for your ever-expanding soul. It's interesting. Through your third eye, you will be able to more clearly see the lessons each moment offers, allowing every encounter to help you become an even more radiant expression of your highest potential, which would certainly kind of deal with a lot of that self-worth stuff that Angel is self-worth uh, pointing to. Uh, this mantra is ideal for discovering personal judgment, sorry, dissolving personal judgments, uh, developing more patience, and tempering inner conflict. That's interesting. Activating the third eye. Well, let's get your last card down, and then we'll put all the pieces together and see what we get. We've got the Whispers of Love Oracle, <clears throat> which I assign to the voices of the higher selves of all involved. Yours in particular, right? So let's see what the Higher Self Collective has to say about this. Nice deep breath. Hmm, <sighs> that do feel good. The Higher Selves of All Involved. Cat hair scratch on the face. Please, Higher Selves of All Involved. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. For this full moon in Scorpio to new moon next in Gemini, what do they need? What do they need? They got the God archetype, light and shadow. The angels are talking about support. The angel of self-worth from the gods, the goddesses, and the angels. The ascended masters are talking about using and activating the third eye, and that using does not feel great. Are they used? Are they doing the using, or are they being used? Uh, activating the third eye there, seeing beyond their beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. So, higher selves, what do they need? What is their whisper of love from their higher selves uh, this full moon to new moon next April? Oh, uh, sorry, May 2020. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. And I would think that really does speak directly to that God archetype. So let's start there. Demonstrate love as the God archetype to the best that you can in the light attribute with benevolence, compassion, and recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others, saying that the love that you are demonstrating is coming from that eternal force through you to the eternal force and others, and therefore to yourself as well. And that that is greatly supported by the divine, by the eternal force itself, and will absolutely be healing issues of self-worth within you and others. Now look, you can't really give someone self-worth, that's why it's called self-worth, but certainly acknowledging it in others and blessing them and being benevolent and compassionate will give you a deeper experience of your own, particularly if you have been using others. Now look, there's a difference between interdependence. We all need each other right now. That's a little different than using someone. Using someone is really, let's go right back to it, the shadow side of this, using power to control people. But that if you can activate your third eye, and this is a really good mantra for that, I'm willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. Well, maybe you have some beliefs, ideas, and conclusions there that are leading you to use people or to allow yourself to be used. So uh, that is what you need. So may the Scorpio Collective Sun moon rising signs be blessed with all that they need this uh full moon to new moon next may 2020 that they activate their third eye so that they can look at the beliefs ideas and conclusions that are leading them to use or be used so that they can alchemize things into that benevolence and compassion for the eternal force within all hence restoring some self-worth there because they've got the support of the divine all around them so that they can demonstrate love to themselves as well as to others and for the well-being of all so motivate and so it is thank you for watching please do like this video subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and comment if this rings any bells for you otherwise i'm going to wish you the very best and the very blessed of this full moon to new moon next hail farewell and blessed blessed be